Hi, my name is Rosa Jedwisiak and I am part of the Manufacturing Technology Program. I was born in El Salvador. I came in to California back in 1995. I am married and I have three kids. Yes. And and uh, but everybody else, my mom, dad, brother and sister, they're all still on the country. So I'm here by myself. I just got my husband and kids. And my dog. It, it was a challenge. It was difficult. Um, being born and raised in a Spanish-speaking country, coming to the United States was very difficult for me because I had to learn a new language. Came here not knowing a single word in English, so I had to start all over again. Um, the traditions, the customs, everything is 100% different. So I, I, I've been learning since the moment I stepped in this country. Well, when I came here, I, I didn't finish high school and back in my country, so I went back to high school. I took my GED in, in Sandusky High School, and I got my GED, and then I'm here. Wow. Started working in the Whirlpool back in 2005, 2005 and um, I started as a temp and um, I knew that I wanted to better myself. I wanted to do something besides being an assembly line. So I started asking questions. I tried to figure out what I needed to do in order to advance. Um, my supervisor told me that it would be very beneficial for me to go back to school and try to get an associate's degree. So um, I started getting more information. I went to the um, um, HR department and I was told the Whirlpool actually pays for education um, so um, I went for it I signed up I came to Terra and I got all the information that I needed I met with somebody that walked me through the process because I had no clue what to do or where to go and everybody was very nice very friendly and it's been an amazing experience I have a 21-year-old boy, and I have a 15-year-old and a 14-year-old, uh, two boys and one girl. Um, I think another reason that I'm here in, in school is because I also want to be a role model for them. I want to teach them that when you want to do something, the sky is the limit. There's nothing that can stop you. There's going to be obstacles. There's going to be challenges. There's going to be, you're going to have to jump through hoops but you can get it done with a lot of work and a lot of sacrifice and just dedication, passion. You can get it done. Well, I, I'm really hard on myself. Like, I, I want to always push myself to above and beyond. I, I just, I just, Talking to the advisor, uh, the person that I, I don't even remember who was my first advisor, but I, I asked her, what were my options? Like, what what can I take that I can use a whirlpool that will beneficial be beneficial not just for whirlpool but for myself? That's something that I, if for any reason I can stay with whirlpool forever, that I can take somewhere else. And she said, well, these are your options, and I narrowed it down to that one. I, I started as a temp and then I got hired full time. I was an assembly operator. From assembly operator, I got a team leader position. Uh, from then, I went to the uh, scheduling department. I was an auditor um, and currently I'm a supplier quality technician. It's gonna be hard to just pick one because uh, every single class I have enjoyed it. Um, I gotta say right now I'm, I'm just finished CAT and I'm gonna not gonna lie to you at first I hated it. I'm like why am I doing this? I don't think I will ever in my life gonna use it. And my teacher saw the struggle and he pulled me to the side one day and he said I think you need help. 
I can be your tutor, we can meet once a week, we can do it for an hour, we can do it for two hours. And I said, yes, let's do it. And I love it. I love it. I now I gotta take CAD Advanced, will be a 3D, and I'm looking forward for that class. Mr. Walker, he's such a nice, oh my God, he's amazing. That's another class that I was struggling with because machinery, it's not something that I use. That was my first time touching a machine. So he was very nice with me and I'm still struggling with English. There's times when they throw me these words that I'm like, what does that mean? I don't, I don't understand. So Mr. Walker, he will always reteach the class so I was able to understand and I finished strong, I finished with an A thanks to him. So I owe him that. I haven't decided which direction I want to go next. That my actually my boss, which is actually my mentor, she constantly asking me where do you want to go next? How can I help you? And I haven't decided. At first, I thought I wanted to be an engineer. Now I'm debating. I also like to be in part of lean manufacturing. Um, I would like to be, I don't know, something where I can travel around the world. Getting close to graduate. Three more classes and I'll be done. Oh, I am so excited. I am so excited. Can't wait. Why Tara? Because every, everyone in here cares for you. They make it personal. They don't see you just like a number or, or the money. They see you as a person. They work with you. They'll go above and beyond to make sure that you succeed. They will make sure that you graduate. They'll work with you. They'll work with you hours. If you have a family emergency, you can make it a class, they um, understand because they know their life throws you things that sometimes you can't control. And everybody's just so nice and friendly. I enjoy every smile and face that I see when I come to school. Thank you for everything. I really appreciate every single one of you that has helped me. Thank you. <laughs>